Hello everyone, my name's Chris and welcome to Is It Worth It? A series where I ditch a review score and instead answer the question plain and simple, Is It Worth It? Today's game is the first DLC chapter for Little Nightmares titled The Depths. Little Nightmares is one of my favorite games so far this year, and so when I heard there would be DLC, I got pretty excited. The base game was only about 4 hours long, so I was curious as to what the DLC would be. And as it turns out, the DLC is going to be a three-part series that explores the other characters within the mall. The first of the three chapters, The Depths, has just been released, and I got around to playing it last night, so I figured I'd make a short little review out of it. In The Depths, you take control of a mysterious boy as he tries his luck at escaping from the mall. It takes place around the same time as Six's adventure, and it's meant to show a different perspective of the things happening on board the mall. And while The Depths doesn't bring anything entirely new to the table, it does exactly what I hoped it would do. It gives fans a great reason to return one more time. And it made me remember why I liked the original game in the first place. Simply put, if you are a fan of the base game, then this is just more creepy goodness to dive right into. The Depths has a bit of a slow opening, but it really picks up in the second half, and it has a really great ending. And since the chapter is basically a single level, it only runs at about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how long you take with the puzzles. Being so short, there isn't too much room for a story, but it does a great job adding to the lore of the game, and I'm really excited to see where the rest of the DLC goes. Now, from a critical standpoint, The Depths shares many of its strengths and weaknesses with the base game. And, I mean, it's basically an extra level from a different character's point of view. So, like the base game, it has a great atmosphere, fun puzzles, and a gorgeously grotesque world, but also some instances of imprecise platforming and occasional frame rate issues. It did, however, bring in a new and interesting area of the mall, and it had a great new enemy. And that's about all I can really say, because it's so short, and it really just plays like the base game. In the end, the depth isn't anything revolutionary, but it's more of what made the base game so good in the first place. So, I say if you're a fan, you should definitely check this out and support these depths. The first episode is only $4 standalone, or $10 for all three episodes combined, and I'd say it's definitely worth it. It's cheap, it's fun, and it's good. 